The Holy Prophet's peace and blessings of Allah be upon him attributes and character were of the highest morality, integrity and honour in all circumstances of life. He personified the perfect example in life, Uswaya Kamil, for all mankind to follow. To honour his noble character, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community of Australia held its Siratun Nabi Jalsa on 8th of November 2020. The Jalsa was held across nine sites through Zoom and streamed to thousands of Ahmadis nationally. The annual celebration was chaired by respected Amir and missionary in charge of Australia, Inamul Haq Qosar Sahib. Men, women and children attended the event in person and virtually throughout Australia to honour and reflect on the blessed life of the Holy Prophet peace be upon him through speeches and poems in his memory. Young children from Brisbane and Sydney explained the Holy Prophet's impressive childhood and his love for children while a brief presentation on the Holy Prophet's peace be upon him life was given by Sarfraz Rahim Sahib. The Holy Prophet's love for Allah and his worship was outlined by Murabbi Silsala Sayyid Wadu Janud Sahib. That, that unity which had disappeared from the face of the earth, it was this man who brought it back upon the face of this earth. He loved God Almighty wholeheartedly. And this is what Allah has mentioned in the verses that I recited in the very beginning, in chapter 6, verses 163. The kul inna salati, that every single aspect of the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his prayers, his worship, his sacrifices, his living, and even in his dying, everything had been devoted for the sake of Allah. Lillahi Rabbil Alameen. It was all for the Lord of the world. The attacks on Islam and its founder and our responsibilities as per guidelines given by Hazur Anwar, particularly with reference to contemporary issues in France, was illustrated by Murabbi Silsala Kamran Mubashir Sahib. Force, weapons, killings have never turned hearts. And they will never turn hearts. But we have seen, although condemnable actions by the president of France, that in response to what these Muslims have done, he then projected the cartoons of our beloved master, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, upon buildings. Hazul states that the exception, or the only exception, was the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, who stood alone by responding in the true Islamic fashion, by demonstrating to the world the true and beautiful character of the Holy Prophet. In his concluding address, respected Amir Sahab explained that the high status of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, earned him 99 titles in the Holy Quran as a reflection of his virtuous character. Amir Sahab concluded the program by reinforcing the importance of invoking the Rud upon the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, frequently, striving to follow His Holiness's perfect example. The Holy Prophet Muhammad was very victorious, very victorious. He left Medina with one person. He left Mecca for Medina for, with one person, Abu Bakr Siddiq. No. Then he comes back with ten thousands of saints. Then he was able to address 144,000 people during his lifetime. Can you see any prophet in the world who has addressed such a big crowd? That was the last farewell address where, you know, he was able to see a big crowd in his lifetime. And then led silent prayers. May we continue to seek blessings through the perfect footsteps of our beloved Master, peace be upon him. MTA International, Australia Studios.